Hello everyone. Today I want to uh, share with you some information on 90% coinage. You know, actually, when it comes to your 90% U.S. pre-1965 coinage, it's probably one of your least understood sources of silver that anyone understands. It's just uh, a matter, there's some uh, equations in it and a lot of people look at the 90% uh, coinage as, you know, as coins versus pure silver. And a lot of us, I do, I mean, I like 90% coinage. I have a lot of 90% coinage and my main objective of acquiring the 90% coinage is uh, of an economic crisis if that shall happen. Now, in my past videos uh, on Southern Liberty America, I have shared what I call the three tiers of silver. The first tier is your silver of small weights, 90% coinage, and your small weights of your 0 .999 silver, okay? Now, all of these coins can be used as a barter or purchasing goods. Now these can include your silver eagles, your uh, generic rounds. Now that's as really as far as I go is to the one ounce maximum. And it can also include your uh, industrial silver as far as your uh, pellets, your .999 pellets or your BBs. These can be very easily weighed out with a digital uh, scale and placed into a very small Ziploc bag and it can be numbered from one gram, two grams, three grams, 0.999 plus silver. So you know even that can be used in an economic crisis and people say well you know everybody won't be accepting this and accepting that. First off in the beginning, most people will have the ability to purchase or to barter because most people have silver and gold jewelry. Now, after this has dissipated or been removed, then we'll see other things being useful or being used for barter they will be able to, or they will begin to accept things like your industrial silver, your BBs, etc, etc, etc. And tier two is your uh, silver that you buy to hedge your inflation. It can be your uh, silver eagles, your generic rounds, you could uh, include your, uh, your pellets or your uh, bags your large 10 ounce bags or your uh, 25 ounce or your kilo bags of industrial silver and your 10 ounces. I would probably go to the maximum of 10 ounces to hedge. I say that because 10 ounces is a lot easier to liquidate than a 100 ounce bar or your kilo bars and that's just my opinion but some of you may have 100 ounces and that's fine. But the tier three is anything and everything in tiers one and tiers two. Any type of silver you have is an investment, can be considered as an investment. Any, any silver that you have, you look at it as an investment. So those are the three tiers. And I want to discuss now the 90% silver and I want to uh, explain the different weights and how to buy 90% silver and what to avoid when it comes to 90% silver. Okay, let's get on with it.
now as you've seen the pictures of the corns and the waste, now it's easy to understand the fact that why you would want to buy your corns with the least amount of circulation. Now some of you may say, well you know, it's only a little gram here or half a gram there, you know, but, you know, everybody's heard the old saying, a penny saved is a penny earned. And after you start losing uh, a half a gram here and a half a gram there, uh, one gram here, two grams there, and you end up buying rolls, then you can see that you may could have done a little better than you actually have done. Now I've got some old average circulated mercury dimes. I stay away from the mercury dimes now. In my past I've learned that the best 90% uh, dimes for me to buy is the later years of the Roosevelt dimes. Your 64s, 63s, and your quarters, 64s, 63s. The 1964 quarters, you've got like 1.25 billion okay of uh, these made there's plenty of 1964 quarters out there a lot of people want to sell them to you as a numismatic roll leave them alone go somewhere else it'll show up somewhere down the line you know I'm not going to pay $150 for a roll of uncirculated 1964 quarters and if you go to buy it now it's on eBay you'll see them and that's just too much it's just too much they want to sell them to you as a numismatic coin, and people can be, you know, you know, swept into that and thinking, you know, they got uncirculated 19C4 quarters, but you know, it's a common coin. But you do want to look and distinguish between your coins that you're looking at, your hands or your quarters or your dimes or even your Morgan dollars. Now if you notice on the video, your Morgan dollars are have a more weight per dollar than your dimes, quarters, and halves. Now if you take ten dimes to up to point seven two three fourths of an ounce. Okay, and that's a dollar. And your quarters you take four quarters, seven, two, three, four. Two half dollars, point seven, two, three, four. Your dollar comes up to point seven, seven, three, four. Okay, so that's that's four grams difference. That's that's four grams difference. So whenever you're uh, buying your dollar weights, uh, be careful. And when it comes to dimes, quarters halves or silver dollars. On eBay they'll burn you and I'll explain to you why. Because most of them will go to a calculator, silver calculator, and they'll figure out how much silver is in a row. That is uncirculated condition, mind you. And they'll tell you right quick, this roll of dimes has point three seven ounces in it and it actually does not because it's been in circulation and some of the silver has been worn just like anything else you use wears on and there's not that much silver in it anymore watch these guys and uh, it's easy to be taken but I hope this has been of interest to you of you guys have learned something and I know there's somebody that understand it didn't know and I'm glad that I could have brought it to you and showed you, you know, there's a better way to shop. Have a good day. Guys, in closing, I'd like to uh, mention the fact that inside the video, I mentioned that $1 worth of coins does not always equal to the same amount of silver. For instance, your dimes, quarters, and halves, they equal to 0.7234 ounces of silver in a dollar. A dollar's worth of dimes, a dollar's worth of quarters, and a dollar's worth of halves all equal to 0.7234. Now your silver dollar does not. It equals to four grams more at 0.7734 of an ounce. 
this is very good to always remember. I hope you and, uh, guys enjoyed the video and y'all have a good day.